everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome to another installment of vlogmas 2021 i cannot believe how close we are getting to the end of december now it's actually blowing my mind i i can't believe that it is christmas this week it really really crazy i feel like it's weird that christmas falls on a weekend as well this year um normally obviously it falls like midweek and you're kind of like prepared and like ready i feel like because it's almost like at the end of the week it's like i almost feel like it's creeping up on everyone it's like you've still got the whole week and then you're like oh my god no it is literally christmas this weekend but we are all done with regards to like presents and shopping i just need to finish wrapping a few last ones um i wrapped like the vast majority of them um i also need to wrap alex's presents because he is the most useless wrapper in the world and we always have a deal that i wrap his presents and he repays me in some way by like make me a nice dinner um or you know a festive movie night or something like that so i need to wrap up his presents as well for all his my family and stuff um so only just like a few last minute things to do which feels really really good are you finished with your christmas shopping i feel like some people are still doing some last minute bits if you are if you haven't seen yesterday's video and you're looking for some last minute christmas bits and some things that you know are like guaranteed to arrive before december check out that video because you only have a couple more days um a lot of the items in that video are from like amazon and stuff as well so really handy with regards to like next day delivery things arriving quickly i know it's been very very stressful i've been helping my dad out actually with a couple of last minute gifts for my mum and he's like messaging me like um so I really want to get this for your mum but like I don't think it's gonna arrive on time and I'm like leave it to me I've literally been my family's personal shopper this year as well as being your guys personal shopper with all the gift guides um if you as well as yesterday's video head over to my instagram because i do also have a gift guide edit on my highlights which i've been trying to update like as much as possible to be as useful as possible for you guys um just so that you can like get some ideas get some inspiration it's like really easily like shoppable with like all the links and stuff so make sure to check that out as well if you're looking for some ideas but for today's video i wanted to focus a little bit less on christmas and a little bit more on new year's because new year's is also still going to be a big deal this year i feel like a lot of us are going to be doing really fun things for new year's and i want to get a little bit prepared so i've done a little bit of new year's shopping i know i have done a couple of hauls with some items that would be good for new year's outfits but i was actually in h&m the other day and i found some really really cute pieces in there like you can tell that they've kind of like shifted aside christmas sound already started to put out new year stuff um so i picked up a few really really cute pieces and then i got a little bit carried away and then i picked up a few more really cute pieces and i thought what well, better a time to do it h&m new year's eve haul than now because the nice thing is that it probably won't arrive before christmas but it will arrive before new year's if you order it now um so i thought that we could go through some like outfit ideas together um try on some pieces start some things up basically decide what we're going to be wearing for new year's i want to do like a little bit of an amalgamation of like some different new year's kind of like styles and like different options because i know lots of people are going to be doing lots of different things this year and i know that maybe some countries are starting to put in different restrictions as well um so hopefully there'll be like lots of options for you guys and fingers crossed all the items will still be in stock um because H&M just flies off so so quickly so i thought we could go through those today and start getting excited for new year's as well because i feel like the focus has been so much on christmas that i almost forgot that i still have like big plans and i've still got like some really fun things around new year's as well which should be really really fun so yeah that is the plan of action for today i'm wearing my new karen millen jumper which i start up in my christmas day outfits video if you missed that make sure to go and check that out because i have some really great ideas for christmas day outfits i really really love it it's just such a cozy lovely knit not too festive but like a little bit of like winter whites which is my favorite kind of thing so i'm very comfy cozy today ready for some new year's eve styling <laughs> it's just dawned on me that i think this is going to be my last it is this is the last festive haul of the year i'm really gonna miss this setup I'm gonna be really sad when this tree goes. Why am I getting emotional about the fact this last haul of the year? God, Ellie. But as I said, I have been doing some shopping at H&M for New Year's Eve. We've got a big mixture in here of like some sequins, some sparkles, some more classic, some classy outfits. We have got a huge mixture in here. I did a lot 
a lot of shopping has spent far too much money so I probably won't be keeping all of these items myself but I will need your help in choosing what I should wear for New Year's Eve because I do have a little bit of a New Year's Eve party this year so I'm also going to need your help but what I will do in terms of like the items obviously because I pick them up in store I will still be linking them all down below in the description I often get questions about like sizing links everything like that it will all be down below in the description because I know I can be a little bit useless when it comes to going through the sizing of the items like I just forget as we go through sometimes I mention it sometimes I don't so if you're wondering what size I picked up whether to size up size down it will all be down below in the description and if you're new here and you don't know me personally you don't know my sizing I am a size 10 on top I'm a size 12 on bottom and I'm five foot exactly in height so hopefully that helps you out in terms of your own shopping for your own New Year's Eve items but let's jump in and I can show you what I've been picking up for New Year's Eve Okay, now this first item I'm absolutely in love with. It's this stunning black satin silky dress. It's like a midi length, which I just think is really, really flattering. But it's a bit of a kind of like bodycon-esque style. I am so, so in love with this. I am just obsessed with the sleeves. The sleeves are what do it for me. I feel like... It's quite a paired back New Year's Eve outfit compared to some of the other items that you're about to see in terms of like there's no sequins, there's no like big design details other than the sleeves but I do feel like the sleeves are what kind of like make it for me. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. This like ruched detail is stunning. You guys know how much I love a big puffy shoulder. I think it's just such a gorgeous dress and if you're looking for something that's a little bit more paired back this New Year's Eve, you don't want to go sparkles, you don't want to go sequins but you still want to look really classy really classic really festive i feel like this is the perfect dress for that and it actually came in another color it came in a white which i think maybe the white would look even more festive because you know like winter whites a little christmasy whites so i feel like the black is very like evening winter festive new year's eve appropriate and then the white might be a little bit more of like a daytime thing so i linked it both down below if you wanted to shop them but i just thought this is such a stunning dress for new year's eve this dress is absolutely stunning. I am so, so in love with it. It's the silhouette, the shape, the fit. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the length of it. I really like the fact that it has just like a little bit of leg room before you hit the boots. I've just paired it with some little ankle boots, which I really like. So it just means that you get that little pop of leg. You could add tights if you wanted to. If you're going somewhere where maybe you're going to be a bit cold, you don't want to have your legs on show, or you don't want a fake tank. So I'm definitely going to have to add a little layer of fake tan before I wear this if I did choose this for New Year's Eve. Also, if I did choose to wear this, I probably would add shapewear underneath. I don't currently have shapewear on. I'm literally just wearing my normal pants. Um, and I do feel a little bit insecure. Not insecure, but I feel like I would just feel more confident and secure with this area. Just with the way that the kind of fabric falls and fits. Um, I think I would just feel a little bit better if I was to add some shapewear to it. But I just love the silhouette and the sleeves are absolutely amazing they just are so fabulous i feel like they're not too much either like they're just the right amount of like a little bit poofy a little bit extra without being too extra which i really really like that about them i really love the little poofy poofiness i think it almost adds a little bit of a festive vibe and i love how kind of like classic and timeless it is just so understated the fact that it's just the plain black satin if you wanted to you could layer up some more necklaces maybe like add some like pearls or some gold sparkles i think would look really nice maybe like a diamante or a diamond necklace would look so so gorgeous i feel like this would be such a lovely new year's eve contender i absolutely adore this dress i am just so in love with how this dress looks i feel like i'm gushing a little bit but i think it just makes me feel so beautiful and i think that's the most important thing when it comes to like party wear evening dressing is just to feel amazing in it and I really do feel amazing in this dress so I'll make sure to link this as well as the other colour down below because I definitely think a lot of you guys are going to want to shop this for New Year's Eve. Now next up is this absolutely stunning number. Now this isn't like the most Ellie thing. I don't normally go for like short little bodycon dresses but when I saw this I just fell in love and my favourite thing about it is the ruching. I love ruching because I just find it so flattering. I am someone that doesn't like wearing a lot of like tight clothing I don't like showing off you know like really figure hugging clothing but when it comes to ruching I just feel like it really like accentuates the accents that you want accentuated and hides the things you want hidden I absolutely adore and I just thought this was a really lovely dress because it's a little bit festive it's got these kind of like silver I don't know how well you can see it but these silver like accents running through it which I think makes it a little bit more festive I think if it was just this pink dress by itself it wouldn't look so Christmassy it wouldn't look so festive 
I'm obsessed with the sweetheart neckline. You guys know I love a sweetheart neckline. I find them so, so flattering, especially if you have like a curvy body shape. I just think they are really, really suited for our body shapes. And I think this could be such a gorgeous dress if you're going to a bit more of like a party, you're going somewhere where everyone's gonna be dressed up a little bit. I feel like this paired with some like little heels and a little sparkly bag could look so cute. This dress is absolutely stunning. The silhouette of this, oh my word, I'm obsessed with it. I've just gone for the off shoulder looks. Even though I do like how it looks when the shoulders are up, I feel like it's just asking to be off shoulder and really like elegant and really like, you know, shoulders out, feeling really gorgeous. I love the neckline. You guys know how much I adore sweetheart necklines. I find them very flattering, very easy to wear. You do have to go for a strapless bra with them, but I'm fine with that. Um, I love, love, love the fact that it's ruched because it feels very comfortable and very like figure hugging without being too much, without me feeling insecure. Like I feel like I could eat and not have to worry about this. Don't think I would have to wear shapewear with this one, which I really like. My only thing is I'm just a little bit concerned about the color. I feel like maybe it's because I haven't tanned in a couple of days. I think maybe I just need a new a layer of fake tan on because it is looking a little bit pale next to my skin color but let me know what you guys think do you think i could get away with this especially if i just added a little extra layer of tan but i just adore the way that the silhouette feels i adore the way that it kind of looks this is much more it's not the most ellie new year's eve outfit but i think it looks really really nice so let me know what you guys think about this one do you think i should keep this do you think this should be my new year's eve outfit let me know now the next item is something that i saw and just could not resist picking up now this actually comes in three different colors it came in this white a black and i think a gold and I just fell in love with them. I kind of wanted to pick up all three to show you guys, but I thought that was probably a little bit too excessive. Um, the black one actually really reminded me. If you watched my Christmas party outfits video all the way back at the start of December, that Revolve top, I know so many of you guys loved, but I do understand it's a very pricey top. And if you're looking for something that you're only gonna be wearing maybe like a certain time of the year, you don't always wanna be spending that much money on it. So if you really liked that top and you don't wanna spend the money on that, pick up the black version of this. I will link it down below because it is only 17.99. And for a top that maybe you're only gonna wear like once this year, you maybe save it for Christmas next year. I feel like that's a really, really good price point. But I decided to pick up the white because I just thought it was a little bit different. And I really, really liked it. I feel like this is for someone that maybe you don't wanna go for a dress. You wanna go for like a top and trousers. I feel like this is the perfect jeans and a nice top. Top. I'll probably be styling this up with my black wide leg trousers because you guys know I love those black wide leg trousers. I literally adore them. I feel like this could also go really, really well with white wide leg trousers. Kind of wish I had a pair in my collection, but unfortunately I don't. But I just thought this was such a gorgeous top for someone that wants to be dressy but again still wants to be comfortable because it's quite loose, it's quite flowy, there's nothing like figure hugging, there's nothing tight about it, but it still looks really festive and really classy. So I think this is such a lovely one. I'll link all three colours down below for you guys because I just think they are absolutely fab for a New Year's Eve outfit. Okay, so this is giving me serious like Christmas snowflake vibes and I'm kind of here for it. I think it's really, really cute. I kind of wish I'd sized down just because I think mainly because I'm petite, it is like a little bit long and because it's fairly see-through, you can just start to see the top of my trousers poking underneath so i think if you were to get this i'd definitely recommend sizing down but i do love the way that it looks which is a pair of black wide leg trousers i think it looks really really cool just like really simple a fairly comfy fairly understated new year's eve outfit i think is really cute and i would definitely style this up with lots of like layered jewelry just to elevate it a little bit more but i do think it is really really cute so if you wanted to pick this up i definitely recommend it i think if you're worried about it being see-through, worried about spinning out anything like that, maybe the black or what was the other colour? Was it gold? I think so. The other colours might be better. I'll make sure to link all of them down below for you guys, as I said, just so you can shop all of them. But I do think it is a really cute, fairly simple, fairly understated New Year's Eve outfit. Seeing as they were now on the theme of sparkles, I thought I would carry on the theme with probably the most extra dress of this haul. How amazing is this it's this pink like loose fitted midi kind of like swing dress and one of the reasons why i picked this up is because i feel like i've never owned 
a pink sequin dress like I feel like pink at this time of year it's not really a color that I often kind of like gravitate towards for me pink is very much like summer and I don't tend to gravitate towards it in winter but I just thought this was so interesting and such a gorgeous dress for New Year's Eve I absolutely love it I am gonna question in terms of like the shape whether I want to belt it whether I'll leave it loose I think it could look really really nice loose paired with just like a little pair of boots and maybe like a blazer chucked over the top I love the sound of that but I just thought if you want to go really extra really sparkly and really beautiful this new year's eve this dress is one for you i actually like this a lot more than i thought i was going to even though it's not the most like figure hugging it's not the most kind of like silhouette featuring i do really like it i think it's really really cute i kind of wish that they'd given it long sleeves because i do feel like the neckline makes me worry that it looks a little bit like jammies let me know what you think the length is really cool actually the way that it just hits up my boots i think is absolutely amazing i think the way that i'd style this up is with a blazer let me chuck it on so i can show you see i really like how that looks actually just the way that the black blazer ties into the black boots then probably i would just tie it in with like a black handbag i like the fact that you just have the sequins just poking out and the kind of like elegance of the dress juxtaposes the like more androgynous vibe of the blazer and i think it looks really cool let me know your thoughts i feel like strappies are kind of hard to style up around new year's because i don't know about you but i don't get all that hot so i may be there for design for people who are like going proper you know partying going around people's houses they're going to get really warm i don't get that warm and so i don't really want to be wearing a strappy in the middle of winter so i feel like paired with the blazer makes it a little bit more wearable for me i do really really love how the silhouette looks as well underneath the blazer i think it's such a gorgeous color like so different but so so pretty going from the most extra item of the haul to the least extra item of the haul i picked up this razor top now i saw these just kind of like by the party wear section and i thought you know what that's a really nice idea this is for someone who doesn't like dressing up doesn't like going like really full hog and really like sparkly and really ott you want to be super comfortable you want to be true to your own style but you still want to have that nod to the festivities and they had these in a few different colors as well they had the gold i think they're black sparkle white sparkle maybe one more color i'll link them down below check out the description box for them but i really really loved the gold flex at the run through this i think it makes it look really festive but obviously at the end of the day it's literally just a racer vest i to worry so that's all the time in summer because i wear them so so much because i feel like there's such a flattering silhouette on literally anyone like whether you're tall whether you're short whether you've got big boobs whether you've got small boobs like they are so so flattering as a styling item and i feel like this with a nice pair of jeans or black wide leg trousers or maybe even like a skirt could look really cute if you're someone that you don't like going really ott at new year's eve but you still want it in kind of like incorporate a little bit of festivity into your wardrobe you don't want to be a grinch on new year's eve you still want to be a little bit extra and a little bit fabulous but stay really really true to your own style i think these are so so great so i'll link them down below for you guys if you did want to shop them and even not for new year's if it's like a big party you could wear this with like a pair of joggers if you're just staying at home and you're still incorporating a little bit of new year's eve sparkle now i actually love this top a lot more than i was expecting i feel like it is proper like I just want to be comfortable and be fairly casual, but still in the New Year's Eve spirit. I love it. It's not as sparkly in real life when you wear it as I as it looked, which is a bit of a shame. I think it looks almost more a little bit flesh coloured, but I do still think you could definitely get away with wearing this and maybe just like a blazer over the top. I think especially paired with the wide leg trousers does dress it up a little bit more, which I really like. I think it looks really, really nice. This is definitely one for the person who wants to embody the new year's eve spirit while still being really comfortable really true to their own style i still think it's really cool now this next item is definitely the curveball of the haul this is like the big question mark that i am really going to need your guys help with because it could look absolutely amazing it could look really weird this sparkly dress and as you can see it's like a half and half dress half black half white i'm not gonna lie whenever i see these dresses it always reminds me of that was it a dove or like sure i think it was sure advert where a woman's wearing like a half black half white dress and i remember she's like spraying deodorant and it's like advertising the fact that it doesn't mark any color and i remember seeing that when i was like maybe 15 and being like as if someone would wear like a half black half white dress and now here i am <laughs> picking it up for a new year's eve haul but i just thought this kind of looks really cool and i feel like a 
is something a little bit different on New Year's Eve. So it's like a really nice wrap dress, which I find very flattering on lots of different figures. It's not too figure hugging. It's not too tight. It's not like a bodycon. It's really comfortable, but it still looks really elevated and chic. I just thought this kind of like half and half, just really different makes you stand out a little bit we've obviously got the sequins so it's really incorporating that like a new year's eve spirit but i'm gonna have to ask you guys be brutal with me if you think it's the ugliest dress you've ever seen in the world leave me down below a comment what you think of this now this is definitely very out there very different and very extra and i'm not sure how i feel about it i'm definitely gonna need your guys help the kind of vibe I'm getting is a bit creative of vibes when I have it on and I'm not sure if this black flap is the most flattering thing in the world the way that it comes over my body I kind of wish that it was a bit more like to the side I don't know um also I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that you can't belt it or alter it yourself like it's got the kind of wrap and that's it like it's stitched in so I don't like the fact that I can't cinch it in a little bit more I guess I could add my own belt but I'm not sure. I think this is definitely my least favourite of the dresses. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'm just... I think if I'm questioning it this much, if I was to wear it out, I would just be questioning myself the whole night. I wouldn't be feeling the most confident. Um, but I'd love to know what you guys think of the dress. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it a rate or a hate? Let me know. Okay, now I'm going to go back to something a little bit more safe. Now, this might not look like the most festive New Year's Eve top ever. But it's just so flattering this is maybe for someone that doesn't want to go full sparkle doesn't want to go really like whole hog on their new year's eve outfit they just want to look really classy really pulled together so as you can see this is a sweetheart neckline at top i don't know how well you can see it. you could probably see it a lot better when i try it on i adore sweetheart neckline tops you guys know i'm obsessed with them i find them so so flattering and i think for like an evening do they are just perfect they're, again they're the perfect jeans and a nice top top you can style them up with jeans trousers skirts i've worn these in so many different ways for so many different occasions and one thing that i quite like about going a bit more pared back and a bit more kind of like classic with your actual clothing outfit is that you can go a little bit extra with your accessories sparkly bag sparkly heels maybe like head pieces, bows, hair bands. I think that's a really, really nice way to incorporate the New Year's Eve spirit for something that's a bit more classy, classic and paired back. Now this is definitely the least festive outfit out of all of them, but I'm kind of in love with it. I think it looks really, really nice, especially paired with the black wide leg trousers, like this silhouette that it gives me. I'm just in love with this. This is definitely for the, I want to celebrate New Year's, but I don't want to be all sparkled up. I don't want to wear any sequins or any tinsel or any glitter. I just want to look really chic and elegant. And this is definitely the kind of outfit that you don't just have to wear New Year's Eve. You could wear it for any kind of like evening event throughout the rest of the year, which we really like those kinds of outfits. I absolutely love how this looks. And to be fair, actually, if you wanted to add a little bit of festive sparkle to it, you could style that up with accessories. So maybe like a sparkly bag. My River Diamante bag would be a great option. Some sparkly heels I think would look really, really lovely. I love the silhouette of the neckline. It's just so flattering. I, I would say, actually, you could size down in this because... I think these sweetheart neckline tops look good when they're being stretched a little bit. Like I think that's a really flattering way. I'm glad I went through to size so it does fit really nicely. But maybe if you have like a smaller chest than me, maybe look at sizing down just to make sure that it's like really elevated and stretched and the, the silhouette is there. I really, really like that about it. I just think this is such a lovely, lovely one for Christmas. Very understated but I do actually have a little other way to style this with the next item. Now it wouldn't be a petite telly haul without a little bit of tool. You guys know I love doing that where I save the best item till last because I feel like we just want to like build up to it. And this definitely is the best item of this haul. When I saw this in store, I literally physically gasped because I know so many of you guys are going to love this. I always get so many questions about the white tool skirt that I wear all the time. And I do wear it all the time. You'd think for like a white tool skirt, I wouldn't get that much wear out of it. It's actually been one of the most worn items in my wardrobe. I've had it for about maybe a year or two now. And I absolutely adore it. I feel like a tall skirt, not only is it very Carrie Bradshaw, but it's also very Dior-esque. Like a skirt like this, especially with the patterns on it. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's got this like gold polka dot running through it, which I think is just so gorgeous. I love the pleating on it as well. I find it very, very flattering. I think this is such a beautiful skirt. And there are so many different ways that you could wear this up. And I know you guys are going to want to shop it as soon as possible because... So many of you guys have shopped that white one. So I would definitely recommend running to H&M and not walking and picking up this skirt. <laughs> 
oh, I really do feel like I'm living my best Carrie Bradshaw life in this skirt. I am so, so in love. It really wouldn't be a petite Ellie haul without a little bit of tool. I love it so, so much. I'm glad I went for the small latch because as you can see, the waistband fits just fine. I think if I was to have gone up a size, it would have been a bit too loose and it wouldn't have like cinched me in and hugged me in as much. I love how the sweetheart top looks with it. I think it's a really lovely way of styling out the skirt because you don't want to go too much with the entire outfit. Like you don't want to go big on top, big on bottom and like, you know, just go a little bit garish. So I think if you're gonna go for something big like a tool skirt, you want to be a bit more understated, classic and kind of like streamlined on the rest of your outfit. So black boots, of course, and the sweetheart neckline at top. I just love, love, love how it looks. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I love the tool skirt. This is the kind of thing that you can just party in all night. Like you just feel amazing. You just want to swish and twirl. I'm so, so in love with it. It's very, very Dior vibes, which I absolutely love. Another way that you could style this, which I think would look amazing, is with a blazer over top, belted. I think that would look so cool for New Year's Eve if you just wanted to look like really expensive, but on a high street budget. I'm so in love with this skirt. Oh, you guys need to pick it up before it goes out of stock. I'm so worried that it's not going to be in stock anymore because I know so many of you guys are going to want to shop this. So let me know down below which was your favourite item, which you think I should wear for New Year's Eve. What do you think is the most Ellie outfit of this haul? What will you be wearing New Year's Eve? Let me know down below which is your favourite. I always really value your guys' help and actually one thing that's the best thing about this video going up like a good week before New Year's is that I can actually use your guys opinions because the amount of times that we've like done stuff together but obviously the video goes out after the party and i'm like oh because i value your guys opinions so much and i love how like honest you always are with me so which outfit do you think i should wear this at new year's let me know down below we're now tackling some very blue lighting i feel like i need to find some better places to put you other than right beside the window because as soon as the sun starts to set the light just goes so blue and then i feel like once i put the main light on it kind of makes it a bit more like yellowy mix with the blue it's just not the best mix but i wanted to talk a little bit actually about accessorizing with regards to new year's eve i know this has been quite like new year's eve focused video and i always get questions about like accessorizing shoes things like that for like party wear and new year's eve outfits so with regards to bags one of the things that i've realized for me is that crossbody bags are essential with regards to like um evening wear parties things like that because i realized that especially with my job i'm vlogging so i need one hand for my camera i need one hand for a drink usually i'll you know you want to take photos of people you need one hand for your photos and there's nothing worse than as much as i love a clutch bag having something in your arm or even like a bag that you just need to like hold on to so i feel like crossbodies are the best for me so something like my new ysl has been perfect i've been wearing this quite a lot to a few parties because it's the perfect size it's not too big as crossbodies go and it just fits everything i need like literally just i can fit in phone keys wallet mask hand sanitizer and then just about squeezing my camera and that's all that fits in this but that's all you need for an evening um i mean maybe you could swap out my obviously most people won't have a camera you could swap that out for like a lipstick or a perfume you know what i mean um this has been so so perfect and also it's nice because it does have a top handle if you do want to hold it um so i really really like that um and then also actually it's one that i have not used recently but this is also great it's another ysl it's my older one my envelope it's slightly bigger in terms of like it's wider and it's not as tall but i feel like maybe it's just because it's old and i've like used it a bit more um it can fit slightly more in it so basically just something that's got a top handle and a crossbody i realize it's so essential for me maybe i'll next year invest in some evening handbags that don't even have like a top handle because i feel like with my evening bags i just haven't been needing it at all i just want it to be really elegant crossbody i feel like like envelope bags are really great for evening wear because they just really work because you don't have to worry about it you just put it over your outfit it doesn't detract from it um and then if you want something a bit more high street I've been loving my River Island one. They also do this in a non-sparkly version. So this is a little bit too much. I'll link down below the plain version to this. Um, it has a top handle that you can put your arm like that, which is really handle. It also has a crossbody, which I have in my cupboard at the moment. I haven't actually used the crossbody because I haven't needed it because it's just been good enough on my arm. This one's definitely smaller and it definitely fits less in it. Um, like I can just about squeeze phone, wallet, keys that's pretty much it um so it definitely fits less but if you're happy to carry around less with you i feel like this is a really really great one because again it just keeps out of your 
heart, not out of harm's way, but you know what I mean? It's just like, it's out of the way. You're not having to worry about it. You're not having to like faff about it. Like you can literally just keep it on your shoulder, chat, talk, dance, do whatever you want. Um, and you know, don't have to worry about it at all. Um, so with regards to handbags for New Year's Eve, I definitely look at something that's got a crossbody so that you know it's always going to be on your person you don't have to worry about holding it putting it down losing it anything like that and you know it's going to be really really secure and then in terms of shoes you guys know i could not recommend it the sophia webster ones enough but i just feel like for me a boot for new year's eve is a lot more practical than like a totty tiny pair of heels i love my new rainbow shoes heels but if it's something that i'm going to be standing all evening nah they're just not gonna work they are a sitting down or evening shoe if you're literally going from the cab to the restaurant and you know you're gonna be sitting down having a meal all night and that's it um but if you're going somewhere where you're gonna be standing maybe like a house party um you know like dinner not dinner but like canapes with friends you know what i mean um and like drinks and things like that basically if you know you're gonna be standing i'd recommend something that's a bit more of like a boot that has a little bit more to it do you know what i mean like it's just holds your foot in a bit more it's a little bit more comfortable um so yeah, I'll link these down below, but any, you don't have to go really sparkly as well, like any nice plain heel boot I think is perfect for New Year's Eve. And then with regards to jewellery, I always get questions because I know I talk a lot about like layering up necklaces um, to kind of like do up an outfit. Um, so I've got my jewellery box here and I thought I would just kind of like explain what I mean. So obviously I always wear my diamond necklace, but then sometimes just adding like an extra chain like this I think is so lovely. This is a Monica Veneta chain, which I love. Again, it's really simple and really dainty. Um, or if you wanted to go for something a little bit extra, I haven't got the chain on this currently, but this is my Yodge lovely naked lady necklace, which I love. And I think this with the gold chain, with that underneath, would look so lovely on the plain black dress. If you wanted to like elevate it a little bit more, do it up a little bit. Um, and I just think that's a really, really nice way to do it. I'm just looking at my jewelry now about like what I have. I currently just have like little pearl earrings, but one thing I really like doing as well is adding, hold please caller, a extra cuff. Now I don't have my ears pierced at all, but just adding that extra cuff I think looks really, really nice because it just kind of like, elevates your ear stack a little bit and I think it's a really great way even if you don't have extra piercings of just kind of like elevating that stack making it a bit more evening wear I have a few other ear cuffs but I can't find where they are at the moment um I think they must be in my other jewelry box um I think that's a really really nice one and then with regards to your rings you guys know I kind of wear the same kind of stack every day this is one of those rings that I think is perfect for every day and evening it's from Pandora absolutely love it you guys will have seen it so so much but when it comes to my other stacks obviously i wear monica vinita jewelry um during the day but then i usually swap it out in the evening for some other sparkly pandora pieces so i've got i don't think these ones are available anymore so i'll see if i can find something similar i'm pretty sure actually monica vinita do something really similar to this now um this is a gorgeous one from pandora that i got a while ago which again is a bit sparkly a little bit more extra which i really like and this is a, another extra pandora one so just kind of like elevating your jewelry anything that's just like a little bit extra i think is such a nice way to like just incorporate that new year's eve styling i've also got things like a string of pearls i think is really nice as an extra layering piece around your neck um so yeah what i will do is i'll link some of my favorite jewelry brands down below please like monica vinida um pandora i think they're really nice to check out just to add something a little bit extra for new year's eve and then another way to elevate your outfit for new year's without actually elevating like the actual outfit but like accessorizing and stuff is with your hair i feel like sometimes we overlook our hair quite a lot um especially in terms of like doing something a bit different you know what i mean so there's one thing that i've been really loving recently which is adding a bow in the back of my hair i love this this is a pack of three that i got from amazon i'll link them down below because they were really inexpensive they're like um silky bows they came in a pack of three so handy because it means you don't have to worry about losing them or anything like that because you always have spares um basically just like doing half up half down and putting it at the back of your head just looks so cute i've been really really loving it i feel like a lot of people have been doing that at the moment um or if you didn't want to go like a full bow i really love pearl hair clips and what i often do especially because i wear my hair tied back anyway um obviously that's not you know i'd do it better on the night but basically just doing a little pearl clip just to keep half of your hair back i think looks really really nice you've got like the classic style you've got like more of a square style um i also have these ones which are really nice they are like more of a thinner it's very like bridal but i just think it looks really nice for new year's just for like doing up a little bit 
going a little bit extra with your hair I think that's so so lovely and it just means that like especially if you have a signature style with your hair um, it doesn't like take away from that signature style it just adds to it which I think is really nice because I know sometimes it can be difficult going for like a full new hairstyle when you don't really you know like none of us are hair experts um you're not really sure what it's going to look like and there's nothing worse than going for something different and then hating how it looks when you see the photos um so i think that's just a really nice way to like elevate your look as well so yeah i just wanted to like go through those with you guys because as i said i always get loads of questions um and i feel like sometimes i spend so long focusing on chatting about like the outfit that i don't always talking about accessorizing and I do really feel like accessorizing completely can change a look can change your vibe um and it's a great way like you can literally shop your own wardrobe for your new year's eve outfit and then I think these bows were like eight pounds for a pack of three so you could literally shop and you know shop your own wardrobe wear an outfit that's like a few years old spend eight pounds on a new bow and you completely change the look like I just think that's such a nice thing to do and I think it really just completes your look and makes you look a lot more like you've put in thought into your outfit and are really like elevated and I really really like that especially for New Year's Eve I feel like if we're gonna go extra at any time of year Christmas and New Year's is the one well I think the tie eyes definitely give the game away it has been quite a long day of just like starting to wrap things up for Christmas we really are starting to wind down and get near the end now which excites me greatly like really really excites me and today was actually my last working day of the year so i was just kind of like wrapping things up with my management and had a few like calls and meetings today which has been really really nice and like just looking forward to january i feel like today really has been a day about like we're skipping over christmas and like talking straight about new year's because it's really nice i feel like I know that I am very very festive and I really love celebrating Christmas but I do understand that not everyone celebrates Christmas not everyone celebrates the festivities whereas New Year's is something that like let's be honest we can all get on board with and we can all come together and like you know celebrate the new year coming in and like see it in together and I think it's just such a lovely one and I'm already starting to get excited for January and what's coming and all the good stuff and I just can't wait to take a break over Christmas and enjoy all the festivities so I think I'm going to sign off this vlog here because it's getting late I'm rambling I don't know what I'm saying anymore I need to take my makeup off and get into my comfies and enjoy an evening on the sofa I feel like I say that almost every night but it actually is going to be an evening on the sofa because I've officially finished work, which is so, so fun. I am still going to be vlogging for the next couple of days as well. So don't you worry, you're not going to miss out on content. It's just going to be not at my laptop, which is going to be really, really nice. So I'm going to finish this vlog here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I really hope you've been enjoying Vlogmas as well. I know a lot of you guys that have been watching the videos haven't hit that subscribe button yet. So if you have been watching Vlogmas, you've been enjoying it, it really, really helps me out when you hit that subscribe button, just to know that like you definitely want to come back for more. You're enjoying my channel and I absolutely love seeing our little community, how much it's growing recently. Like honestly, the amount of you guys that have been finding my channel from my Vlogmas videos makes me so, so so happy so if you haven't hit the subscribe button please be sure to do it that absolutely makes my day and i will see you for tomorrow's episode of vlogmas bye guys